Welcome to my world, everyone. This is Like It or Not with Michael Lane, and Michael Lane he is uh, who I be. Check out all the information down below, all right? Right down there. Hey, check it, man. I've been busy. I've been dealing with a lot of crazy stuff, so right now my show is on postponement or hiatus right now. Uh, so I, I'm trying to get a little time that I can't talk on the show, bring it here on YouTube. Now, I talked about this on my show earlier, about Eric Garner, okay? I want to talk to you about it. But first, I'm, I'm not going to show what everybody's been showing. It's been absolutely horrible, not completely. I'm going to show you part of it and, and the, news, uh, the news clip that I'm going to show you part of that. And uh, come back and uh, I'll holler at you. So here's the news clip. Two NYPD officers are no longer patrolling the streets after a deadly police-involved struggle caught on camera. Video shows the undercover officers putting a Staten Island father in a chokehold. Seconds later, he falls to the ground and loses consciousness. CBS 2's John Slattery has more from Staten Island. It's a rest video the mayor of the city calls troubling. Esau Garner was with her youngest child as friends and supporters protested the death of her husband, Eric. The man who died is 43-year-old Eric Garner, who was forced to the ground by several police officers and died of what police say was a heart attack. This woman said she witnessed it. He didn't deserve it. He really did not deserve to go like that. The encounter Thursday afternoon was captured on cell phone video. It shows police approaching the man for allegedly selling illegal untaxed cigarettes. Every time you see me, you mess with me. Garner, a father of six, who weighed at least 350 pounds, was heard telling police to leave him alone. Don't touch me, please. An officer behind Garner seized him around the neck and Garner was taken to the ground. A short time later, Garner appeared to be unconscious. Everybody now back up. It's now going to become a crisis. Despite police saying that Garner had many arrests for possession of controlled substances and illegal cigarettes, Internal Affairs was looking into what happened, and supporters demanded a full investigation. Mayor Bill de Blasio extended his condolences to the Garner family. Like so many New Yorkers, I was very troubled by the video I reviewed earlier today. The investigation will center on whether the officer's conduct was appropriate. Chokeholds are in fact prohibited by the New York City Police Department because of the concerns of uh, potential death arising from them. This is a cousin of Garner. I'm just numb, you know, just very, very numb about it. The wife was too distraught to speak as she resumes her life with no husband. On Staten Island, John Slattery, CBS 2 News. So uh, we all know right now that sad story we already know about that we all know what went down and people were wondering what was my opinion on this and I said it on the radio show you know I said it on the radio show I know from experience that there is a problem and I'm gonna tell you the problem here there are more good cops than there are bad but the problem is it makes every cop look, look horrible when they don't say anything, when they don't speak out against it, stuff like this. Just like when everybody looks at, at Muslims, why don't you say something against the terrorists? When you don't say anything, don't be surprised or shocked when you're lumped into that same category. No one can lump me in the same category. Like when the knockout game was going on and the media wasn't saying anything, I spoke out against it and some other people as well. So you can't lump some of us black folk into that junk because you have to speak out against it. Uh, some people say, well, what did Eric Garner, uh, what did the police do that was wrong? You all know what he did wrong. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm a victim of that stuff. Now, I will say this before I get to that. I will say this. This is a warning. To all of you black men out there in big cities, you are being targeted. There is an attack on a black man. I don't care if you're, if you're doing dirt or if you're doing great things. 
it doesn't matter. You have a mark on your head. But I'm not I'm I hate to say it this way, but I got to tell the truth. Out of all the times that I was arrested, I was cooperative. 1 billion percent. If they motioned to put my arm back, uh to 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 cuff me, I did it. If they told me to put your hands against the wall, I did it. The mistake, it was a small mistake, it wasn't a big thing, but, but you don't want to give any crooked people or cowardly cops any type of leeway to give them an excuse to say, well, he resisted. When they started to put his hand behind his back to cuff him, he did this. It wasn't dangerous, but for him to resist and do this, that gave the cops reason to say, hey, see, he did that. So now we can kill them. So now we can use illegal practices in killing them. Like that chokehold. And like when he was down on the ground screaming, I can't breathe. The man put his knee on that guy's neck. That's another. You think these, these cops ain't stupid. They know these are illegal. They go through training. They know what to do and what not to do. And all this for loose cigarettes. I know I got done wrong. I was arrested one time for uh, having some pills in my car. But it belonged to someone else. I was running a carpool. And they arrested me. They tore up my car. I was cooperative, but they still tore up my car. I lost my job. So when I was... At, I was real close to getting this job at Enterprise. Once I was exonerated, they kept it on my record. They continued to keep it on my record. Now, when I was arrested, they did a lot of strip searches, illegal strip searches. I ended up winning a case that winning that, I still didn't get my settlement money. They lied, said that I had that settlement money or you already received it and it was cashed. They, and then I said, okay, show me proof of that check. They still haven't, they completely 100% railroaded me and they kept kept the, uh, the the felony on my record so I couldn't get a job this is an attack and this is me now this is me on a not a whole long record or anything like that but they're looking for my cousin who was killed by cops worked at, as a garbage man wasn't any Gangster, no thug or none, no dude out there on the street doing that. He had his kids, his wife, and he was taking care of them and doing going back and forth to work. He was a mason and he was a proud dude. But now all of a sudden, he's stupid enough to pull out pull out a gun in front of the cops and then they have to shoot him. He doesn't he does he's smarter than that. He's don't even come on man. There was a call in that neighborhood. He got to he, he got through going to a get-together with the Masons. And he was on his way back home. And somebody called that some dude, somebody, it wasn't him, but it was some dude, had a gun. And he fit the description. And then they said, hey, hold on. You come up with your hands up. And then all of a sudden, he just absolutely stupid, not even thinking about his job, his family, his life. He pulls out a gun at them, and then they shoot him. It's pure bull crap. But they know he's not a threat they know that he can be successful in life. They know he can have a family. That's all they're trying to do is break that up. Now with this dude, Mr. Gardner, had six kids, had a wife. Nothing now. Gone. For selling loose cigarettes. And they do these, and then the EMS shows up and they look, kind of shook him a little bit. Hey, hey, you all right? Hey, hey, get up. Mm, all right. They knew he was dead. They let him die. And they still had him cuffed. As he laid there lifeless. Somebody told me, but wait a minute. Wait a Hold on. Hold on, dude. Hold on, man. Not so fast. Mr. Gardner has a long rap sheet. He's been known to be a druggie. Uh, so what? Don't give a damn. Was he doing anything that day that warranted that? 
Who cares about his long rap sheet? He wasn't doing anything then. He wasn't doing any drugs then. He broke up a fight. And then they were saying, hey, earlier you trying to sell some, some, some loose cigarettes. Look, here's the facts. Because that's, that's just absolute crazy thinking. Well, he's just doing this and he's doing that. Just like with the Trayvon Martin thing. Well, Trayvon Martin, he ain't nothing but a thug. He got a long record. He was smoking weed. But he wasn't doing anything that night. Get it through your heads. Oh, he got a long record. He's a thug. He wasn't a thug that day. He wasn't thugging it out. I could see if he was doing breaking in somebody's house. I could see if he was getting all high on some drugs in front of them. But to make a big deal out of loose cigarettes, think about it. In all these big cities, all of these black men who are not thugging it out, who are not acting stupid, who are not acting idiotic, are getting killed by cops in liberal land. All these big cities that have liberal mayors, don't forget, Liberals appoint the chief, uh, the chief of police or their police superintendent. It's always appointed by the mayor. Those mayors are Democrats. Let's not forget, in Chicago, Richard Daly was once a state's attorney. He collaborated with John Burge in arresting dozens of innocent black men. Wise up, rise up. Stop making these damn excuses saying that, well, he has a long record, and so he deserved to get killed. Well, do you deserve to get killed? Because you have maybe a couple traffic stops? These were illegal practices. Yes. Should they arrest him? Yeah. Should they maybe have subdued him a little bit? Yeah. But not like that. And I do admit that Mr. Garner should have been more cooperative. But for him putting his hands up like this, saying, don't touch me, that does not warrant murder. And it's happening too often with innocent, nonviolent black men in democratic cities. But let me see how many of you all black people will change that landscape. And vote Republican. I doubt it. So. The marching. And the idiocy continues. Like it or not.